Hello everybody. Let me adjust my camera here a little bit. So I'm Dr. Amy Gilliland and I'm excited to be talking to you today about dueling the doula and our certification programs. I was with another organization for many years and I was so glad that I had the opportunity to really hone my craft for many years uh, about being an educator of doulas. I also spent over 30 years in higher education um, teaching adults in, uh, in, um, in different colleges <clears throat> and universities. So I taught a variety of different subjects. I have also got my Wisconsin Adult Teaching Certificate. Um, with ASECT, the American Association of Sexuality Counselors and Therapists, Educators, Counselors, and Therapists, I'm a Certified Sexuality Educator Supervisor, which means that I supervise other people who are becoming sexuality educators. I've also been a certification packet reviewer for several years with ASECT. Um, so I know exactly what certification needs to look like. I understand the philosophy behind certification. And what you want to do for people is you want to certify them in their skills, okay? It's not a matter of, did you give the right answers on the test? It's like, when you're in this situation where you need to use your skill set, do you feel confident enough to utilize it? Now, for a lot of us stepping into doula work, we know people's births matter. Oh my gosh, they're a huge big deal. And if we're there, oh my gosh, we could ruin their memories or we could be fabulous. So we want to be able to be fabulous. Well, what does it take? It means that you need to be doula in order to become that doula. That's what it means. That's what I learned is that people would take my workshops and go, well, now what? I'm like, well, I'm done. I'm just train you. And now you got to figure it out for yourself. And so 95% of the people didn't. And I looked back and I said, you know, I've been interviewing doulas for 22 years. Surely. Surely, if anybody can come up with a better system that centers and focuses on the doula, it should be me. I'm also neurodivergent, probably autistic. So my experience of life is that as of an outsider, as someone who doesn't belong, who's always tried to fit in. And I usually get invited places once. So I know I, 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 I lack things. So probably in this presentation, there's things you'll be able to tell. But that's okay, because seeing things from a different perspective is really a gift. It enabled me to really get the heart of what do I want to do? I want to doula doulas through their certification. I want these people who come to me with open hearts in their trainings to be able to do the work that they most want to do. So. Our certification process is nurturing, all right, at the level that you want it to be. Basically, our, our basic certification package, so you can take uh, the childbirth class and the doula training from us and be done. You don't have to be certified, okay? Um, but there's lots of people who want to, to have that achievement and that matters or having the credential matters in, um, in getting into hospitals or birth centers, okay? So in that instance that we have the childbirth class, we have the birth doula training workshop, um, and then we have our postpartum class. We also offer an infant feeding class for people who don't have a lactation credential. We do have a required reading list and you can do that on your own or you can do that socially and meet with people in book club and talk about it. That costs about $150 for those seven meetings, but you're also meeting with an experienced doula or coach, someone who's been to hundreds of births. So you're also paying for their experience as you talk through these issues. And these six topics are ones that doulas need to know about that are an extension of their training. Um, we also really believe that every support experience you do counts. Every single one. So there's no restrictions. If you gave 10 hours of labor support and met with people three times prenatally and for some reason you missed the birth, maybe they said to you, you know, it's seven centimeters and we kind of, we're feeling really pretty confident and, and I think we'd like to do this part on our own and just see what happens. And if we need you, we'll call you back in the room. And that's meeting the needs of your clients, right? Well, in any of the other systems, if you're not there when that baby comes out of a vagina or a uterus, you don't get, you know, that doesn't count for you. We're not like that. 
every support experience counts because you learn every single time. Because what we ask, which nobody else does, is we ask you to reflect on it. Because that's the kicker. That's the thing that makes you grow, is reflection. You read about it all the time, so it's built into our system. What is it about this birth? What did I learn? What did I learn about my clients? And you don't have that pressure of telling people, I have to be with you the whole time, otherwise it doesn't matter for my certification. I mean, what kind of an organization, no, no, I'm not gonna go there. I don't wanna put people in that position. I'll just say that about me. That's not who I wanna be, okay? And I don't think that was intentional, but it's the impact of, of having those kinds of policies. So every single support experience you do counts with us. Um, say you get there and the baby's born after an hour. So it still counts. What if you get six people who all have cesarean births? They all count because you learn something and you reflected upon it, okay? So those are the key components. That's why we don't have tests. Um, we also are relationship-based. That's where it gets back to dueling the doula, right? Um, is because we know you. After you've spent all of those hours, you spend about 40 hours in face-to-face -face education with us, all right, Bet between the childbirth class and the birth doula training. And we know you by that point from we know where you were where you lack confidence we know where your challenges are we also know pretty good what your strengths are um and that's not just me that's also how i mentor my trainers is to figuring out who your participants are and how to help them bring out the best in themselves so that's why you don't have to do any letters of recommendation we know you okay so that's a part of it. Um, most people will complete this in a couple years, but if you get all six of your births and all of your books read in three months, more power to you. We'll certify you. The other thing about our program that's special is we do provisional certification. Just, we mirror other paraprofessionals. Like if someone's a respiratory therapist assistant, a physical therapy assistant, what they do is they do their coursework and then they're given a provisional certificate that says this person has completed all of their coursework. They are now ready to do their field work. And that's exactly the way it is. So you get a nice printed certificate. It's good for six months and then you can renew it for as many times as you need until you get all your births in. So you already have your provisional certification paper. So if that's required by your hospital or medical facility in order to get in, we give that to you, okay? Because we know you, and it has my cell phone number on it, okay? And if you're in Amanda Eccles' group or Mandy Wagnalt's group, um, and you, you've taken your trainings from them, it will have their cell phone number on it because we know you. And we're saying that we vouch for you um, in doing this work because we do. We really believe in our people, and we offer that small relationship with others. So your certification you can do on your own. That's $1,500. That's with the infant feeding course, the postpartum course, the childbirth course, and the birth doula training workshop. And then you complete your certification requirements online. If you want more support, as I mentioned, we have book club available, which is $120. It's social, um, but it's, it's a wonderful experience. We talk about supporting trans families and we and poly families, um, families that are uh, are are un you know unusual in their makeup, and often need more support. So they're marginalized in our healthcare system. We also have a whole meeting about supporting Black families and how Black motherhood is different from many of the other kinds of motherhood that we may have experienced or that others who we care about have experienced. Another topic is we delve deeply into stillbirth loss and grief and pregnancy loss. That's another topic that we cover. We also talk about the politics of birth and power. That's a fourth topic. A fifth one we talk about is, is, um, is advanced doula studies. So looking at what is the meaning, the deeper meaning of being a doula or the deeper functioning of being a doula. And so you have a variety of different, each time we, you do a book club topic, you have different choices of books to read. So not everybody's reading the same books. And I've written the curriculum so that it's more enriching. 
So if you want to, you could read a book you've already written, you've already read, you know, maybe you've read one stillbirth book and you're like, oh my gosh, this is such a really heavy month for me. I'll just review that one again. That's okay because you're getting more out of it because you're reading it the second time, eh? Um, or you're, you might say, I want to read an entirely new book. Or you might say, I want to read a book that I don't have to pay for. There's books like that on your reading list too. So and with every single one, there is an option. And um, when you join our certification program, we also give you one book for free. So that's on our reading list. So we help you to get started. Um, the other thing that people do is uh, they can add on our foundations coaching program. And that costs um, $600. We have several sections of that coming up this fall and next uh, next winter with Amanda Eccles and Tamara Thompson and Deanna Tharp. They have meetings every two weeks, every three weeks for our Foundations of Learning of, of uh, Doula Practice course. We also have our online learning bundle. So if you are to add on our certification package, if you want to add book club and foundations, what we also offer with that is we offer, and uh, that's $2,000. And then we offer a premier package where you get coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, more sessions with your trainer, and that's $2,500. So we are all about success. We priced ourselves very similarly to other programs that um, may be offered certification as just here you attend the class, you, you click it off. Um, but they didn't give you that personal touch. We really wanted to make sure that when you added it all up, what am I getting? Okay, what am I getting? Um, that you could say, I'm getting, you know, years worth of benefits from this. This is going to take me where I want to go. What we want to do is for those people that want a doula career, we want you to know at the very beginning when you sign up, and you say, this is what I'm going to do, that that's where you're going to end up. And that's not something that I was able to say several years ago. I could not say that with confidence. I can say now, you make the investment and we are invested in you. If you are from a rural community, you say, no, but Amy, nobody's ever heard of a doula. You know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in rural Idaho. I'm in rural North Dakota. I said, I grew up in rural California. I live in a city of about 300,000 people and that's just about enough for me. So um, I really specialize in rural communities and I understand them um, because that's the heart, especially ag communities, agricultural based communities, um, which is most of rural America. It's like, I understand that. I understand that market. I understand how those hospitals work. We can help you develop a doula practice with that. Now, are you gonna be able to do that 100%? No. You're going to have to diversify. You're going to have to teach some classes. You may have to offer some other kinds of support. You need to figure out what the needs are in your community and how you can best meet those needs. That's how you build a successful career as a birth worker in your own community, whether that's in rural Oklahoma or Idaho or, you know, um, wherever. So th that's, that's what I mean. And there's going to be different monetary restrictions and so, but, but that's what we do. That's why we're here is we're here to help you and to share our wisdom. I could have just retired and said, you know, I've been doing this. I learned a lot. It's somebody else's turn. But I said, no, I want to empower marginalized communities. I want to empower people like me who feel like I have to fight for every ounce of health care that I get. And I'm well-spoken and I'm educated and I'm, I tend to come off as more physically attractive, which are assets in those interactions. However, I still experience a great deal of disbelief and having to advocate for myself or for my loved ones. And um, so I very much understand that. So I wanted to turn over everything that I've learned to other people. And so that's where our mentoring program comes into play. If you are an experienced doula and you are interested in becoming a doula trainer, I want to encourage you to check out our mentoring program. We're going to be opening up soon um, for, next year's, uh, for next year's cohort for 2024 in the spring. So <clears throat> some <coughs> other things to know about doula and the doula and our certification process. You're lifetime certified after five years. 
we don't keep you hanging on the hook. All right? You are done. After that, that I'm trying to get this in the camera. There it is, sir. We don't keep you hanging on the hook. So you're certified once, then you're going to recertify twice every two years. And you're going to hopefully support some families or go to some births. But if you didn't, you have several alternatives already built into the process. Um, in terms of that, you'll also need to get some CEs. So um, several different CEs during that two year period. Once you've done that twice, so you become your initially certified, you recertify once for every two years later, you recertify again, two years after that, then you're done. You're lifetime certified. We don't, we feel that after five years, if you don't have those good habits of CEs and, and, and um, being a caregiver isn't ingrained into your life, there's nothing more that we need to do. And as an organization, we don't need to keep collecting money from you uh, for something that you have already achieved. So that's just our philosophy of doing things and doing business and how we want to treat doulas. And we'd much rather have you turn around and say, you know what, I want to be a foundations coach. Now that I've done 25 births, I want to support other doulas. I want to develop a community where I live. That's where we'd love you to be after that five years, just to turn around and say, now I want to contribute. And now that I've been a, now that I've been a foundations coach for several years, now I'm ready to become a trainer because I want to do for other people what you did for me. That would be my dream. Really, really, really. So, um, let's see. So let me see, do I have anything else to share about, oh, I need to talk about our postpartum certification program. So our postpartum certification program, unlike the birth doula training, you need, um, our, our, you cannot take the training without being part of the certification group and the foundations group and the book club. So we offer everything as a package deal. Um, in our, cert our, birth our postpartum doula certification program, what we're aiming for is we're aiming to train people to work in existing home visiting programs, such as prenatal to three, um, uh, parents as partners. Um, what the research is showing is that doulas in the home make a huge difference in terms of um, supporting people in recovery and also preventing maternal morbidity and maternal mortality. So, and also in preserving or improving mental health outcomes. So morbidity is everything from, you know, high blood pressure to, uh, to any other poor health come, outcome. That's what morbid, morbidity means. So um, that having a doula there is protective because you have somebody in your house who cares about you. Well, the reason why that doesn't happen now with a nurse family partnership is because it's expensive to pay somebody with a master's degree to visit your house 10 hours a week. But you know, doulas love this work and we're paraprofessionals. And so doulas can be paid less. So which makes them more financially available, um, because of their degree. But we also get to do, do the work that we love and we're in the home supporting people who really need us. So that begins um, with our postpartum doula certification program. You take the DTD childbirth course, the DTD postpartum course, you'll take the postpartum doula training, and then you will continue with foundations with Jamie Healy Plotkin, who is our head of postpartum programs and um, book club with her as well. And so throughout that period, after you've taken the doula training, oh, that also includes our infant feeding course. So everything is a package and that's $2,000 for that. If you would like to add the online learning community for another year, that gives you, um, that's another $500. Plus you're also going to get more one-on-ones with Jamie. So to help you boost your business or with your resume or whatever it is that you would like one-on-one -on -one coaching from um, about. So is what's offered to you. So our postpartum program doesn't duplicate what's out there. I haven't seen anybody that's really focusing on this home visiting niche um, before. And prenatal to three has an announcement coming out next week uh, that, that is their 12th cornerstone on their roadmap is the, is postpartum doulas in the home. 
So we are situated there to give you the training you need so that you can walk into that program and have them hire you. Okay? That's what we're after. Um, and we think, uh, and why? Because I have two degrees in human development and I used to train home visitors in attachment, infant cues, infant sleep, um, all the same things that I am training doulas in. Postpartum doulas in is, is in that skill level. Also, um, human development is where uh, home visiting comes from. That's like the, 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 you think maybe it would be social work, but some people do have a social work degree, but mostly they have a human development degree and they'll get their, um, their certification in family life, the CFLE, um, certification. Ah, we also are postpartum program. If you have a background in childcare, whether that's being a private nanny for someone working in child care, child care coursework, um, we, you can become certified as an infant mental health associate through our postpartum doula program. So yes, yeah, so if you have one year and you complete the second year of experience uh, working with families, a certain number of hours that are required um, that uh, we, we help you meet all of the other requirements. All the other requirements are met through our program except the work experience. So if you already have some prior work experience, you can also get your Infant Mental Health Associate certification, which is very much welcomed by any agency that would want to employ you. So working with infants or families. So um, I'm really excited. As far as I know, nobody else is doing what we're doing. And this comes, I think, uniquely from my background and also seeing that this is what's needed. So I'm excited about what we have to offer. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about our certification programs today and uh, for being interested in dueling the doula. I'm Dr. Amy Gilliland, and thank you so much for your time.